Okay, while we have a few seconds, I'm going to introduce him. Lyndon Alec from Livingston, Texas, Alabama, Cushada. His cell number is a... <laughs> it's on here, but I'm going to say it. Uh, Lyndon Alec, member of the Alabama Cushada tribe, has been performing the Indian hoop dance for 43 years and has traveled throughout the United States, giving performances in such places as Iowa, Illinois, Washington, D.C., in Madison Square Garden, New York. He's also served as a headman dancer at various powwows and performs usually at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. In September 1986, Lyndon had the opportunity to travel with the Alabama Cushada tribal dancers to South Australia for three weeks and performed at the Royal Adelaide Show. In July 1994, Lyndon traveled with the Alabama Cushada tribal dancers to St. Petersburg, Russia to perform at the opening ceremonies at the Goodwill Games. In March 1995, he had the privilege to travel to Nice, France to perform at their annual carnival. And in June 1996, he performed in Korea. In 2006, he was invited to perform for the annual jazz festival in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is one of the largest events in the United States. In November 2008, he traveled to Wasilla, Alaska, where he performed for various schools. So this gentleman has been traveling and performing for 43 years. We welcome to uh, back to Ugalkapasa Festival, Lyndon Alec, Hoop Dancer. All right, thank you, Doc. Thank you. It's good to be here for the 19th annual. That's how long it's been. I, I know I've asked somebody how many years this festival's been going on. I thought it's like 13, 14, 15 years, and come find out it's 19th year. So that's how long I've been coming here. So it's good that y'all are here. The festival would, wouldn't be here without y'all. Y'all make the festival. We just come here to perform and educate and, you know, to answer your questions. That's what we're here for, to educate. If you don't know anything about Native Americans, and come come ask us. We'll, we don't know it ourselves. We'll try to get the, uh, try to find out from somebody else that does. But that's what we're here for, to educate these kids. And we had a lot of kids yesterday, and, and that's what our job is, to educate these kids. Because you know what the kids, uh, they watch TV and movies and stuff like that that's not real you know and they make us look bad they think they go, we're gonna go out there and scalp each and every one of you but it's not like that it's not that way that's just shows movies that you watch so that's why we're here to educate these kids and and I, I'm glad you, uh, that y'all made it out today and it was kind of warm but yesterday was hot it was hot yesterday but it's a little bit better today and we got a small breeze coming through, so I'm glad y'all made it out. Again, my name is Lynn Alec, like Doc said. Doc, and let's give a round of a hand for Doc. Doc Pumby, he does a good job. He does a good job every year for us, for MC. Also, like to recognize, I know all the committee, you know, they are somewhere in the back, somewhere, but I always like to recognize them. I know if you see them, if you recognize some of them, they're all scattered out here doing their jobs, but we never recognize these people. These are the ones that takes care of all these, they put up all these stuff for us, the, the, the parachute for us, and everything out here that you see, the tents and canopies, whatever, they're all the ones that uh, prepare all this for us. And all we do, we just come out here and do our shows and we leave. And they are out here the next day picking up stuff, cleaning up stuff, so we never recognize these people behind doors. They're the ones that does all the job for us, for us to come. But we always enjoy coming here, like I said, uh, it's, it's a big event, in 19 years I've been coming here and next year big, uh, bigger and better, I'm sure. I remember last year, I don't know if for some of y'all that were here, I had my grandkids come and dance. It just didn't happen this year, but hopefully maybe next year we'll try to get them back again. So I uh, hope you come back again. But like I said, you're the one that makes all the festival here, so I appreciate you coming and keep supporting us, keep supporting us. You know, without you, we wouldn't make this. Again, uh, my name is Lyndon Allen, member of the Alabama Cushada tribe. The Alabama comes, uh, the state of Alabama gets their name from our tribe because this is where our people used to live. Our people lived in the uh, Alabama River, right there at Ala uh, Montgomery, Alabama. That's where our people lived many, many years, as far as Cushada, too. 
Uh, we both roamed, grew on vegetation is what we did. But we was moved away from there, so we went westward, across the Mississippi into Louisiana. Now we make our homes in Livingston, Texas. The uh, Cushadas decided to go back to uh, another area called Elton, Louisiana, and, that, and that's where they make their homes. And we do still speak our language, and uh, we have uh, two Two dialects, it's kind of similar, but we still understand each other. I'm Alabama Cushada, my wife, full-blooded Cushada. So we uh, speak different languages, but we still understand. She can say a little more, and mine, mine will say a little more. Ours goes out a little further. The Alabama Cushada goes a little more, and the Cushada say a little more. It means thank you in our language. Could everybody say that? A little more. All right, y'all are real Native Americans down. And can you say Alilamo? It's much shorter and much easier in it. And he makes it as though you put your mouth in his lap for you. Lawa so hustlin, look back so to me for him. As though you put your mouth in his lap. Push go to me to look back so to me. Your mouth in his lap. As though you put. Glad you made it out. I know it's hard. Glad to be here again. I mean, you hoop dancer been hoop dancer for 43 years, and I enjoy this. You know we. 43 years is a long time. I started when I was 12 years old. Man, you should have seen me dance out here. I, I blew nothing but smoke out here on the ground. But now the smoke gets a little bit lighter now. But I do the best I can. As you get older, you start slowing down. But yet, God gives me the grace to keep going. And my health is good. And, and I just want to praise Him for what He's done in my life. Taking care of me each and every day where we go. The hoop dance comes from the Towers Pueblo Inns of New Mexico. And it's been handed down to our people. With these hoops. I'll be using 24 hoops, making different formations such as the bird, the butterfly, tumbleweed, and at the end I'll make the world and the sun. Well, all these means is the beautiful creation you see out here, trees, plants, and animals that God has given us to survive on these things. We thank for what he's done and also the circle, meaning the circle of life that he gives us life each and every day. And each year in, in Phoenix, Arizona, Hurt Museum, they have the World Championship Hoop Dance Competition. If you're ever in that area, go see him. Second weekend in February each year, they have the competition there. So it's a big thing out there. So without any further ado, we'll go ahead and let's hoop it up. All right. 